show you my numbers on my car right here. Look at that, guys. I got the number 444 miles on my car. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, I know it only lasts a little bit, so I took a picture of it, but I just wanted everybody to check that out. But isn't that cool? Have a wonderful day. Ciao. Hello. Hello, um, and welcome, everyone. I decided to bring out one, um, another reading following that the candles are still lit and that we had a great um, read with the Egyptian pantheon and the Orishas came through and the Empress love and Queen Nefertiti love and it's all been coming through and um, so I chose to bring out the Native Americans uh, in case for those of you new to my channel literally I lived, I was raised in Manhattan and every day when I walked to school um, from Riverside Drive to Broadway because my Catholic school, St. Catherine of Genoa, was between Broadway and Amsterdam, uh, but there was this museum of the Native Americans there and um, yeah, it changed my life and I've talked about that. I've made videos about it but anyway since we still have our candles are burning bright light and the empress came through from the african tarot uh via the orishas which is yamaya in the orisha pantheon uh, she is the empress she is the queen of the stars as they say and then here we had you know, the queen, and I'm just highlighting everything because I'm hoping to see what the Native American wisdom will bring forward, okay? And I know it's going to be beautiful. I know it. I know it. So anyway, just, I want to, the Empress came through. We're on a journey, a spiritual journey. A magical spiritual journey your inner you know it's time to do your inner inner self core okay inner self core follow the moon cycles the four seasons stay on top of where you are you know find justice everywhere never give up on you never give up on you when, when you are justified to do so and again prudence the power eight number came through this is all wonderful stuff and that the you know the ten number ten and then this card came through twice the wheel of fortune uh, clear mental I mean I, I just have to continue Follow your dreams, your desires, plant them, seed them well, you know, pay attention to them, don't give up on you, and and really the portal of light, you know, the cosmic realm, they're watching us, no doubt about it, and it's time to complete the past, release it, and enjoy the future, okay, which comes from creative work, because here it is, there's the next 10, the Wheel of Fortune coming through, okay, so, and that the Chariot card, the Trump card of this Cancer full moon, which, that's why I'm doing these videos, because I've been trying to harness her, so, you know, harnessed her day before, now, and then the day of, and now the day later, and we're going to talk to the Native, um, Native Americans and respect how they also, you know, follow the stars and the moon and the sky. And then here we have the soul retrieval and deep soul healing with the goddess. It's, it's just 
structure. And that, you know, the Ace of Cups came through Aleister Crowley, the Egyptian Tarot. I don't, I can't recall if that's ever happened, but it did. And I think it's wonderful. All right, so let's see. And, and then the Ten of Stones, the Ten of Earth, the number 10 came out three times. So I'll put it back in the deck here. Okay, and then it is all about, you know, aligning, grounding with the mother, the earth, feminine, earth, mother, okay, uh, for 2017. And believing and, and, and grounding with her and, you know, praying in a way that you say, you know, what's, what's, what's to come? And then really every single read is about the love, the spirit path of the south, partnerships, Unconditional love, rejuvenation, okay? And then you see the 371, a beginning. And it, it's all been saying it's a beginning. See, one, you know, three and seven is ten. Ten, three tens. The, the, the new beginning, okay? The new beginning. But you got to balance it yourself. And, you know, this is your own, see, the chariot is a cool card to come through in the respect where, uh, you know, being the trump card for the moon, or excuse me, for cancer, ruled by the moon, it's that you're the one. You, you have to have that psychic defense, that psychic balancing to rule your own world. You know, you have to be now the one. You know, whatever animal or whatever fiction it is for you, the, here are, you know, the water serpents. Uh, you know, call them water dragons. Okay, so. Okay, we're going to put these back in the deck. Okay. But very cool. And so let's see how we balance these next. Um, read in the regard that we follow our codes. Oh, well. I, I really didn't, this is coming organically through because all the other readings have been, you know, pretty right on. So let's see what we can do with the Native American Indians who I follow and I love and I, you know, I love the African wisdom. I love all of it. I, <laughs> all of it. Okay. All right. So, again, let's see the wisdom uh, for 2017. We know there's abundance. Look at that first card in my hand. Okay, I'm going to read them this way today. Okay. This friend of mine made this for me like back in college days, so I wanted to bring it out. Indian tribe or you know clan or whatever you belong to you know especially African tribe uh, know that your voice has and is being heard okay know that
replicating the spirit wheel, you know, trying to truly embrace the seasons, the cycles of the moon. And for those of you, you know, into astrology, no doubt, go for that. And I am, I am totally into astrology. I just, um, it's a lot of time to dedicate to, and, and somehow I just want to see how we all can do something, okay? Okay, I'm going to show this card because I usually don't um, turn it over, but look how sweet. Strong sun moon, <laughs> which we just are having here with this cancer. <laughs> Full moon, social invitations, creative pursuits, joy. Wow, look at that. Okay, so this deck is already speaking, and you can see the mama with um, the baby raccoons, and there's the butterfly of transformation, transmutation. We've been talking about that as well. Okay, so, I mean, yes, the creative pursuits are all in what I just brought out, right? I don't want to do it again, but, right, this is what they're saying. The creative pursuits are here. Oh, my, how wonderful. Okay, and look at that 2-2 two, two number. I don't even want to turn the cards in. Okay, let's stand strong, all right, because... I, I know this deck, and we have a lot here right now, but the 22. Okay. Let me bring my boy out. Okay. <laughs> He's on fire today. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go. It's about doing what you love, okay? It truly is. I mean, a passion. A passion energy. A passion energy. Okay, so, and I'm excited because I usually don't get to read, you know, the shaman wisdom very often, and I think the candles can close with this beautiful reading that we're going to do here. It's going to be wonderful. There you go. I mean, I was going to say, <laughs> I already feel it. I already feel it. And look who comes through, my darlings. The High Priestess herself. You know, I'm just like, uh oh. It is about the moon. It is about balance. It is about the spirits on the dark side of the moon. It is about relating to the cycles, the 13 moon cycles. It is about getting in nature. It is, it is about to the pairing, the pairing, the Libra scale pairing, helping people, helping yourself. Moving on. Okay, so let's let's put her. Oh, look at that. That's kind of kind of cool, right? Kind of kind of cool. How uh, I wanted to bring through Alistair Crowley's um, Ace of Cups, and then it's like it's a web. You can see. I don't know if you can see that. This web is going on now within ourselves, our inner journey, soul journey. So uh, this is all wonderful. This is a love journey, a love going within, a love uh, believing in your partner, a love where everything is the holy grail, unconditional love. You know, and even if you're in a position where you're having to forgive your lover for 
you know, doing things that were inappropriate. But maybe, perhaps, if you're the High Priestess, then the Ace of Cups will come. If they're the High Priestess, then perhaps the Ace of Cups will come. Okay, this is like, this is wonderful. I see the water. She's in front of the water. Beautiful. Okay, so behold the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. And, uh, you know, I have Archangel Michael's candle burning here. Ooh, caliente. And Shango came out representing um, Archangel Michael from the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Alicia decks. Now we have the Seven of Arrows. Okay. The Sevens are about that spiritual, you know, challenge or spiritual identity that you're going to give yourself now, right? We're all going to go into a spiritual awareness and we're going to meditate every day or at least call it turn off technology day or moment or hour even a whole day is good I mean I know it's hard to do but I, I believe that you can do it okay Okay, let's continue. But here we have spiritual number. The Native American Indians all about that shamanic, uh, you know, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, all about it. And again, I, I just shared on uh, the other videos when we're now going to tap this, you know, unknown zone in the spirit world. You have to protect yourself. You have to sage and you have to I mean like you have to because the dangerous ones know what you're doing and they don't like it and blah 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 look what they did to Jesus and then here comes the nine of cups with the rainbows oh my goodness gracious me and the mountains okay uh she themed um this Medicine Woman Tarot, and this deck has been around, I think, since the 90s, um, Carol Bridges. However, um, she themed her water cups, uh, like, with a Hawaiian uh, theme, Indian theme zone, you know, because we know that the Hawaiian Indian is very powerful. But here we have, your wishes are fulfilled. That's beautiful. You know, you'll have your partner, and yeah, and that's what every single reading has been kind of saying. Um, I'm very glad to see it. And then we have the moon come through. We have the high priestess come through. Uh, beautiful. She's saying once more, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. What do you see? Oh, that's wonderful. That's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Now, I was um, literally pulling these cards up so I could pick the next row. And look what just popped into my head. Mother Earth. <laughs> She's like, wait up. Wait up, creative feminine force, nurturing and birth number two. With this full moon in Cancer, which is we're now exiting, we're winding down, weaning down, in case I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but. This card, and I hardly use this deck, hardly. And I did want to speak to, because this is about Mother Earth. And Mother Earth, you know, 
in cosmic form with Luna and cosmic form with the sun star. And if we can all just kind of, you know, get that approach. That the Mother Earth card, hold on, you know what? I just, I have to go there right now. Because I, I had on the pairing, number two. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. And how many souls has Mother Earth held pass to the moon? Mother Earth. Keywords, creative feminine source, nurturing, birth. And we already had the Empress come through. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Prophecy. The Mother Earth card asks that you open yourself to feel the complete truth of your life. You must be willing to experience the painful as well as the joyful moments to fully emerge. Reaching that magical point of renewal allows the heart to expand toward the light. Here we are, toward the light. Okay. White light, bright light, bright light, bright light, diamond, bright light. Through the expression of our emotions, we are able to tap into our true feminine nature and appreciate our connection to all living things. We learn to, uh, we learn to properly nurture ourselves and become the caretakers that we are naturally meant to be. Open up and allow your heart room to grow. When we allow ourselves to give birth to our emotions, we learn to truly honor the creative feminine source within us, and the prayer. I call upon the energies of Mother Earth to help me to accept and express my true feminine nature. I honor all beings with the gift of motherly compassion that is innate within me. Motherly compassion. And that's what this cancer, powerful cardinal square, you know, I mean, I know we're exiting it now, but nonetheless but this card and I have to now watch the video see how this card snapped into my hand because all I was doing was fast forwarding it <laughs> but we're going to leave these uh, at the end here falling leaf moon number eight okay let me start picking up these cards I'm not familiar with these cards but here I'll show the card here Number eight, well, we know that's a fabulous number, and that we have a Scorpio. So a sisterhood is here in the respect, you know, again, we don't male gender specific here, but Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, the water signs, okay, so that's a sisterhood, and all related to Moon, to Luna, uh, okay, baskets, adult, okay, I have to, uh, I really need to know what's going on there. Buffalo. Buffalo. North. Masculine Earth. I was just going to say. I mean, that's getting blue. That's good. Goddess Venus coming through the masculine energy. Look at that. So now we have the buffalo coming through. The North Masculine Earth energy. And again. Taurus, ruled by Venus, the bull, <gasps> oh my goodness, how beautiful, the wolf, northeast, masculine water, that's wonderful, how wonderful, I love wolf medicine, uh, I'm a sun Pisces, so in Native American wisdom, the wolf, uh, you know, February, March is, there are totem animal masculine water okay well we've got it going on and see when you have masculine water and north masculine earth okay well let's let's continue budding trees moon expectation process and goals okay there we are I mean, it just doesn't really get any better. The 
Okay, look at all these moons we have here. That's a significant situation because we were just sharing how we truly want to, the high priestess here is sharing, we want to tap the cycles of the moon. Cutting trees, moon. Ripe berries, moon. Life lessons, victory, courage, expectation, process, goals. So we kind of literally have to become our own high priestess. Okay. All these moon cycles, we, we want to pay attention to that now. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, well, hold on. I'm going to end. I'm going to, I'm going to turn my face from the cards and I'm going to pick three more cards. Okay, so, oh! <laughs> just, oh my goodness, she just kind of saw it out there. Well, you know, she's the smallest card. I mean, you know, we have to blame gravity for it, but nonetheless, how wonderful. I'm telling you, they, they just can't wait. Mother Earth cannot wait to bring this forward for all of us. You know, planet Venus, and again, I, excuse me, I'm not an astrologer, but yes, I, I definitely believe in the cycles and the codes and how all this works. But here we have the Empress herself. Double whamming it. <laughs> uh, I think that's beautiful. I'm from the African. Okay. I love it. Orisha power. You know. Any of you with the African blood. Awesome. Look at that. Double whammy. Okay. All right. So, but well, we already know. Follow the moon cycles. Become that high priestess. No doubt. And all these moons and wolf medicine comes through. How cool is that? Okay, and it's like, you know, male, female, 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 male, male, female, female. That's okay. All right, so let me turn my head. Okay, and we're just going to close with three cards. And, okay, I think something just cut. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, and there's one right here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Too much fell out, I think. Okay, well, let, let's accept these. Okay, well, there you go. And this one. Okay, let's just pick these three. <gasps> there we go. The tens came through, and so did Queen of Coins, Queen Nefertiti. Okay, and these all represent the ancient Egyptians, which truly built our architectural foundation of how we try to, they can't even still uncode, uh, you know, the Sphinx and or Khufu's uh, pyramid at Giza. So, but nonetheless, they're here to suggest to us, if we work hard, we can accomplish our goals. And the goal is to become the seeker of your own journey, your own self, your own. Mental clarity, okay? And, and you, we have to take now a spiritual approach. This ace of grail, this love factor for the earth. How we can heal ourselves and the earth will help us. We have, we know the Empress energy, Venus love is with us. Um, I just, oh, one just slid out. Let's just kind of see what it's saying. There it is, the balance. Okay, the balance. The chariot is here for you. Don't give up on you. All right? But you do have to practice. You do have to, you know, know how to drive a chariot in the respect. But you'll have protection and it's all about you being more psychic now. All the water signs. We're all psychic and intuitive, but the water signs seem to carry, you know, that flow of energy more. And it is about, you know, earth, air, fire, water. But how wonderful. And, I mean, okay. 
thank you all for watching. It's been wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm going to add a little video. I was getting in my car yesterday, and I noticed that the miles were 4444. 4,444. So I'm going to show you that video. Okay. Kisses to you all. I really think that uh, this this year is, is going to be a very awakening year. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Love to you all. And be safe out there. You know, and, and really prosper to make your dreams come true. Okay. Ciao. I want to show you my numbers on my car right here. Look at that, guys. I got the number 444 miles on my car. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, I know it only lasts a little bit, so I took a picture of it, but I just wanted everybody to check that out. But isn't that cool? Have a wonderful day. Ciao.